Welcome to the Ryan Gibbons and Company Tax Blog. I'm Kurt Brandt. Each week, we will look at an area of taxation to provide you with knowledge and help you plan for the future. Today, we will address dealing with notices from the IRS or state. The IRS and the state of Iowa send millions of letters and notices to taxpayers for a variety of reasons. Here are some things you should know about notices in case one shows up in your mailbox. The most important thing to do is to give us a call and let us take a look at the notice. Don't panic. Many of these letters require a simple response. There are many reasons why the IRS or state sends correspondence. If you receive a notice, it will typically cover a very specific issue about your account or tax return. Notices may require payment, notify you of changes to your account, or ask you to provide more information. Each notice offers specific instructions on what you need to do to satisfy the inquiry. If you receive a notice advising you that the IRS or state has corrected your tax return, you should review the correspondence and compare it with the information on your return. If you agree with the correction to your account, then usually no reply is necessary unless a payment is due or the notice directs otherwise. If you do not agree with the correction the IRS or state made, it is important that you respond as requested. You should send a written explanation of why you disagree, include any information and documents you want them to consider with your response. Remember to keep copies of any notices you receive with your other income tax records. The IRS sends notices and letters by mail. The agency never contacts taxpayers about their tax account or tax return by email. Again, give us a call and let us take a look at the notice and assist you with any response needed. If you would like to discuss how these issues affect you and your tax situation, please email us or call us at the number on the screen.